Y'all know how much I love Bruce Campbell. And I know a lot about him. Like, not much, but I'm learning stuff. Like, he had a TV show or was not a TV show where he was a cowboy. But I bet none of you knew that he was in this show called Jack of All Trades. That's because it's kind of hard to find. It can't really be streamed unless you use a certain website that has uh, three, three letters in it or, you know, this website. So Jack of All Trades was a syndicated action comedy that was similar to Hercules and Xena, and it starred Bruce Campbell as Jack Styles, a spy with a Zorro-esque alter ego called the Daring Dragoon. Alright, anyways. Uh, set in 1801 on a Pacific island, it was filmed in New Zealand, Bruce Campbell's Jack Styles is an American spy working with his British counterpart, played by Angelina Dachin, Amelia Rothschild, as the two work to prevent Napoleon Bonaparte from colonizing more countries. To give you an idea as to the tone of the show, which is not to be taken seriously at all, many of me from Austin Powers, Vern Troyer, played the greatest general in French history, Na Napoleon. Um, as with multiple projects, from Army Darkness to Burn Notice, Campbell is fairly tongue-in-cheek as a slightly competent spy, and the result is a show that feels like the wrong project at the wrong time. Released in... 2000s. Jack of All Trades was released in syndication as a joint package with another lost classic, Cleopatra 2025. I've never heard of that um, at all. So, it became the first half, uh, the first half hour live action comedy of this type produced for syndication since the 70s. Bruce Campbell's unusual shtick was perfect for the absurd role and blended in seamlessly with the recurring gags about the period and, for the type of the show, its subtle humor. For, okay. I don't care about the rest of the stuff. Uh, beyond the loose plots and playing with history, part of the fun is how Bruce Campbell somehow has to play a character with a secret identity in a fort that looks like it could fit inside a Walmart, and not one of the giant locations, a neighborhood Walmart. Who can't realize that the masked dragoon and Jack have the same distinctive draw? That man, Bruce Campbell, has an awesome draw. Or that the two men are never seen in the same place at the same time. Hey, man. Spider-Man. All right? Anyways. Uh, a Jack of All Trades was a throwback even when it started airing 23 years ago, and today, it feels like a relic of a bygone era of television. Bruce Campbell had only a few shots at being a leading man when he really could, or should have received more opportunities, which makes the series feel like a wasted opportunity. The syndicated comedy is so forgotten, it's not even available to stream anywhere. Not even on Tubi. Again. The biggest shame isn't getting to see Bruce Campbell chew the scenery, but the loss of the Emmy-nominated theme song. An out-of-print DVD box set is now the only way to witness the legendary Daring Dragoon in action. Am I gonna watch all the episodes? Maybe? It depends, because there's also this cowboy show Bruce was in, and um, I did find that. So, that show also has episodes. Um... I might. I'm already going to torture myself by watching every single episode of the Ferris Bueller show. Why not just, you know, bless my day with some Brucey boy? You know, some Bruce Campbell.